Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Making these celebrities your couple goals will have you in divorce court right along with them. One couple that I thought was solid and we would never hear this type of news about was Eva Marcel and her husband, Michael Sterling. Boy, did they have us fooled. Eva filed for divorce less than a week ago and she said their union is irretrievably broken, meaning she ain't getting back with them. But what the heck happened? We'll find out that and more. But before we do, please be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any news regarding this tea and so much more. Now let's get back into it. Say it ain't so. Eva Marcel and Michael Todd Sterling almost made it to the five-year point in their marriage, but something happened to cause Eva to walk away and throw in the towel. Now the news broke yesterday of the pending divorce, but Eva filed on March 23rd. Now she's using the same attorney that's been featured on the Real Housewives of Atlanta before, Randall Kessler. And Eva actually did make a statement regarding the split. She says, this has been one of the hardest decisions I have ever had to make. But sometimes life takes your journey in a different direction you were not expecting. Our children remain our biggest priority and the eight and a half years we have spent together will always be cherished. We ask that you respect our privacy at this time. Neither the documents or Eva has really gone into detail about what broke these two up. However, we can surmise that it's one of three things. Either there's cheating, there's financial issues, or the two just grew apart. Now I did a little digging and I see that the house is strictly in Eva's name and she was facing foreclosure for unpaid HOA fees last year. She never answered the complaint so she ended up having to pay the amount due, which was a little over $4,000. So was it financial? I don't really think so. Now the two share three minor children together, Michael Sterling Jr. who was born in 2018, Maverick Sterling who was born in 2019, and Marley Sterling who was born in 2014. She's from a previous relationship. However, Michael did adopt her as his own and gave her his last name. So they have three children. Now whatever it is that happened had to be recent because according to the docs, they still live together. Like currently today, they still live together. Now the house that I saw online and on Housewives of Atlanta wasn't that big. You know where they can live in separate quarters. He stay on the west wing and she stay on the east. So again, whatever happened, it definitely was recent. Now Eva posted a video and a picture of them on Valentine's Day and it said, happy Valentine's Day forever and ever, hashtag us. Everyone was cheering her on. She got one of her besties, Cynthia. Everyone was just happy in the comments. So then Michael posted on Valentine's Day a picture of him and Eva, and he said, my forever Valentine, I am so in love with you that there isn't anything else. Happy St. Valentine's Day, hashtag the Sterlings. So at this point, we're all scratching our heads because it was all good about a month ago. What happened in March? So let's continue. Now on February 20th, she woke up proudly wearing her ring. And in my opinion, she was making sure that everyone saw it. Three hours later. Sis was on a plane to Milan, Italy for Milan Fashion Week. Oh, and she stayed there the entire week. Now, after that week before heading home, Sis went to Paris, France for Paris Fashion Week. And it seems like she stayed there a whole nother week. And I understand she's grown and she does what she does. But while she was outside, her husband was in Atlanta tending to the kids. He's actually a basketball coach for one of their sons. Michael makes a post on March 6th and it says, clear, concise communication is the key to any successful relationship. It's a wonderful thing to be on the same page and it's a disastrous thing when you're in an entirely different book. Our relationship with God should be no different. Shortly after the information about the divorce was put out to the whole world, Michael ended up posting a video of Dorinda Clark Cole and the Fam U Choir singing Gotta Work. So obviously he's saying someone isn't putting in the work. Now Eva posted yesterday as well. She was pretty much saying that her smile was there, but it was a fake smile. Sis wasn't all that happy. Tuesday. <laughs> it's a fake ass smile, but it's okay. Smile anyway, right? Now in these divorce proceedings, 
Eva is stating that she wants primary physical custody of the children with final decision making authority as to all issues and requests that the same be granted to her on a temporary and permanent basis. Eva is also requesting that child support be ordered in accordance with the Georgia law on a temporary and permanent basis. And that means for all three kids, considering he did adopt Marley as well. Now, Eva also wants Michael to contribute to the care and maintenance, including but not limited to medical, dental, and hospitalization expenses for the children. Now, according to Eva, this marriage is irretrievably broken and there are no prospects for a reconciliation. She also reserves her right to add additional grounds for divorce as permitted by law. Now, during the marriage, they have both acquired various assets, both tangible and intangible, and she wants to be awarded equitable division of all marital assets. Now, she wants to be awarded her separate property and any appreciation therein. And again, I told you that Eva does own that home, so that home, according to these docs, if awarded, would go to her. She's asking that any debts that they incurred while married would be equitably divided between the two of them. And she is also requesting that Michael pay for her attorney fee. Now page six got their hands on a statement from Michael Sterling and he said I am not going to lose my wife. I am going to fight for her with every fiber of my being. I love her and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side. He concluded with I am not going to lose my wife. I am going to win her back. You never know what's truly going on in someone else's home because these two definitely had me fooled on outward appearances because they both seemed to be so happy. Eva definitely seemed to be just as happy and crazy about him as he was about her. So we will be praying that these two will definitely try to figure out whichever way it goes. Now, I am just hoping that this is not one of those reality TV relationship curses that it seems like so many people get because this is not the first announcement that recently hit the Real Housewives of Atlanta headlines. Drew Sedora and Ralph was recently running to the courthouse to see who could get there first to file for divorce. Now in their divorce filings, Drew Sedora said that Ralph was a serial cheater and adulterer and she could not take his constant blatant disrespect and mental abuse any longer. She said that his hoes, I mean his paramours, direct contact with Drew Sedora and Ralph had been spending more than 50% of the couple's income so he was financially abusive now we can't say that we did not see that divorce coming because honestly i feel like ralph liked drew sedora just a little bit more than kenya's husband liked her another divorce that we saw coming was that of cynthia bailey and mike hill their marriage lasted about two years but everyone saw the red flags when mike was talking about he was still friends with some of the women that he had slept with child i was screaming through the tv telling cynthia don't do it don't do it but cynthia wasn't listening but she seemed to learn and she walked away it's best to walk away than try to hold on to something that you know is not going to work anyway so obviously these women have made decisions to walk away from these relationships i hope and pray that all involved find happiness wherever and whoever that might be with Anyway, I want to hear from you. What do you think about everything going on with Eva and Michael? What do you think the reason for this divorce all of a sudden is coming from? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.